11 minutes away from 8 o'clock. I'm Gareth Edwards, uh, talking about Farewell Ella Bella. It's going to be a beautiful movie. I'm actually quite looking forward to it, uh, not just because I have the, the privilege and the honor to have Katlejo Dange, uh, Jay Ansia, and also the, the director and writer, Loazi Mvusi, with me. And I don't just mean that. Uh, when I saw the trailer the first time, I thought, this is such a beautiful uh, movie that I really want to go and watch. And we, we've discussed the roles in the movie, but we all know it's kind of fun behind the scenes, don't we? We all know <laughs> it's not always as planned when the cameras switch off. Uh, so before we continue, continue our discussion with the cast, uh, here's a little sneak peek as to what happens uh, behind the scenes. I'm Lozi Mvusi and I'm the writer-director of Hewa Ella Bella. I am Sirlo Make Gangube, I am playing Mel. Hi, I'm Jay Anstey and I play Ella Bella on Farewell Ella Bella. <laughs> Well, Ella tells the story of a young woman who's 24, Ella. She's a waitress living in Burford West. Um, and her life is very, she's very much stuck in a rut in her life. Um, she works as a waitress, she's taking care of her father, she's the breadwinner at home. Um, and she's never really experienced life beyond that small town sort of existence for over a decade. First rule is you're never allowed to judge a character. So I like Ella, obviously. Um, but she is an unhappy person. That's the first word I'd use to describe her. It's the first word the director used to describe her. And the movie is to find Ella's happiness. So she's an unhappy person, but she's been through a lot. She's had a lot of struggle. She's had to grow up really fast, very quickly. Um, she is an independent type of person. And she also lives a very monotonous sort of life. Um, something happens in the story that sort of pushes her out of her Beaufort West existence. Um, she meets up with her godfather, Neo. Neo is a friend to uh, Ella's father, uh, Reino. They were jazz musicians together. They have played together for a long time. He's also um, Ella's uh, godfather. So when the news of uh, Reynos passing away, you know, he comes for the funeral and basically he just buried his old friend. And you know, only to find that uh, Ella now wants to take his father's remains, you know, to Joburg. And so basically the story is the two of them on this road journey together, kind of understanding themselves more, understanding each other more, and by the end of it, Ella sort of coming to a place of understanding um, that she is the key to her own happiness. The whole trip is a coming of age story. It's finding her happiness. All the characters they meet along the way are incredible. Um, and it's just about, for her, it's just about trying to find some sort of peace, trying to let go of the life she's had and realizing that she is the reason why she's unhappy. She can't keep blaming everyone else. Once you, once you want to tell stories about, about South Africans, um, you, you want to put together a combination of characters that are really going to, from all sides of the population, have a very, have different reactions to, have interesting reactions to. You should have just let me die. Don't say that. Well, he's all I have. He's my family. Hello, Ella. What is she doing here? I need help. I had a huge fight with Neo, and I don't think he wants to see me. <laughs> Viewers can expect a story that is really just about the human condition. Um, none of these characters in the story is perfect. Not one of them always makes the right choices, but they're all inherently good people. The cast of Farewell, Ella Bella joining us. Uh, just a little snippet of what goes on behind the scenes. And it always looks glamorous on TV. Katlejo Danke and Jay Ansi and also director, writer, Loazi Mvusi with us. Always looks so glamorous uh, behind the scenes, doesn't it, Katlejo? Let's talk about uh, you, though. Do you... What are you looking for in, the, in this movie, in the journey? So Jay is trying to find herself as Ella and find happiness. Uh, Nao is going wherever he wants to. Uh, where are you, where's your character trying to go from in this movie? I think she's trying to find what the next chapter is. Um, because now she's realized this man is not going to change and he's come with this package. <laughs> you know? And she comes with all these expectations and all this wonderful, uh, um, you know, this, this beautiful attitude towards life. Mm. So she's like, well, I'm, I'm very realistic and this is what's supposed to be. Um, what happens now for me? What happens now for my life?
with my son and mm. and how does all of this fit into where I'm going and what I need to do? Uh, there's something I'd like to ask Jay and it was part of the earlier trailer if you missed it there was one very short scene where I think you arrive in Kimberley and you got to share a room uh, with the character Neo played by uh, Sela Marco uh, and it's an awkward moment I heard part of the trailer talking about it's a story of life but it's actually a story of South Africa that we're still now that is awkward you have a young white girl older white man and the assumption is Jay, maybe let me come to you on this one first. The assumption is that that's not how it's meant to be, and that woman who play, I'm not sure who it is, but plays the host in the in the film, is quite awkward. Yeah, awkward that was movie. a real fun <laughs> scene to do. And in fact, afterwards, a lot of people still ask us, like, oh, but uh, is this story about you and this man together? Yeah. Are you and Cello <laughs> together? And people are very like offended by it. So it's kind of funny. I just, you know, I guess when you hang out with with like-minded people, open-minded people, you forget that like the rest of the world maybe doesn't feel the same way. Is that what you're trying to, is, were you trying to get a reaction out of that? Did, not, did you get a reaction even, out of it? Not even. I mean, the story, the, the geography really predicted who the characters were going to be for me. And I had set this, I had set Ella's character in Beaufort West. And that is a community that is um, white, Afrikaans speaking and colored. Um, and, and because I think you know what Jay's saying about like-minded people and the world that you exist in. The world I exist in is very mixed race. Um, you know, the friends that I have, we are United Nations. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was very natural to tell that story. And there were many times where people would read the script and go, like, whoa, yeah. oh, wait, oh, okay, all right. Like reconfiguring in their heads what's going on. And so it wasn't an intentional thing to give a rise out of it, but the reality of being in South Africa is when you create those circumstances, those, there are things that naturally come with that and they, things that are naturally easy to play with with that. And that was fun to do. I'd just like to talk a little bit about the funding of, of movies in South Africa. It's always so difficult to get funding going for whether it's short films, whether it's uh, long format films like this. And this is part of the Emerging Black Film Filmmakers Transformation Fund. Yes. I remember doing an interview on that just a few years ago. They were going to launch it. Mm. It seems to be working. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really amazing. I mean, you study film and in, the reality in South Africa is that you don't you don't know that you're ever going to get to make a film mm -hmm. and it's it's wild when i start to think about it a little too much about the fact that i have made i've actually made a feature film that is in cinema and funds like these give people like myself who i it probably would have taken mm -hmm. me a lot longer to get to this point mm -hmm. an opportunity to do it because it is filmmakers who who are on their either their first or second film so it's very very important in that regard in terms of opening up the industry and allowing more voices to sort of participate um, in the cinema space uh, we're going to start wrapping up in a moment and it's so important that we talk about a great film like this but I can see people at home throwing things at the TV going, where is it going to be? Ask the obvious questions. So, Katleka, I'm going to ask you just to take us through if you know where it's all going to be premiering and filming and PR go. <laughs> Out at Sturk and Cinemas, August 17. August 17. August 17. <laughs> Please, come and support us nationwide. Put in your calendar. Put it in your calendar. Your put a Women's reminder. Month. <laughs> support women filmmakers, female cast, female DOP. Um, and where do people just find you online? Story. Everyone's using, where's my phone? My phone's down there for the first time we all morning. We are on <laughs> all are the you? social media. We are on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we are on Twitter. If you look up Farewell Ella Bella, you will find us there. We have great stuff, lots of like behind the scenes pictures, um, updates, everything is on there. So follow, 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 follow. And you're not going to mind my online team at the company putting this on the website, are you? <laughs> please, do. You please do, please do. You can't find it on do. YouTube, find it on our YouTube channel, yes. ENC, go find it on ENC.com. Congratulations, I'm Thank so looking so forward much. to it. August 17th was August the date. Yes. It's going in my diary now, me and the whole team are taking the night off. I really appreciate your time coming Thank in. Thank you so much. And good luck and congratulations Thank on, on a wonderful, you. wonderful movie. Actresses, uh, Katleko Danke, Jay Ansi, and also director, uh, and writer of Farewell Ella Bella, uh, Loazim Vusi, joining us here on Weekend Wake Up.